ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo committed a big blunder by endorsing Peter Obi, says Lamido. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV and compliments of the season. The former Jigawa governor on Friday said Peter Obi's endorsement, the presidential candidate of the Liberal Party, by former president Olusegun Obasanjo was a big mistake. Lamido, who was a foreign affairs minister under Obasanjo's administration, made the remarks while answering questions from newsmen at Bamaina, the country home, his country home near Bini Kadu, local government area of Jigawa. Obasanjo is my boss. I believe in him, but he is also a human being. He can make mistakes. So he made a mistake. It's a big mistake for him to endorse candidates outside his own party, which gave him the relevance, the importance, the image globally to become what he is. You don't do that because of the younger generation. Whatever I said, um, whether power rotation or power shift, whatever it is, people are being a little bit dishonest, Lamido said. The former governor said that people failed to understand that when a party honored them, dignified and made them who they were, they were expected to respect that party. So to me, Obasanjo or anybody else, he, Obasanjo, was talking about because he was former Nigeria's president. If he wasn't, will he talk like this? Whatever he is saying now is because he's a Nigerian former president from PDP. So PDP invented and dignified him. So a leader is supposed to be inspiring, motivating, and should be able to charter a new course for Nigeria so that his disciples will be able to carry on with that, he said. Now let's take a look at... Some of the comments that chilled this. Somebody says, Lamido, there are two mistakes you made here on your critique of Obasanjo stance on the endorsement of Peter Obi's candidature. One, Obasanjo is no longer a member of the PDP. Two, Obasanjo reserves the right to ex exercise his right to endorse whoever he wants to endorse. Your opinion here counts for nothing. You, Lamido, is part of the old order that have refused to prefer solutions to the many problems of Nigeria. You want the status quo maintained, but unfortunately, Obasanjo, unlike you, has realized that the solution resides in Peter Obi. So what is actually your problem with his decision? Lamido is the one being dishonest here and lacks any moral justification to alter the gibberish he has altered. Another person said, I wish Nigerians rest their anger against Baba Obasanjo. He endorsed Buhari and we all see what Buhari has turned Nigeria to again. He endorsed Article in 2019 and Article narrowly lost the election. So his endorsement does not translate to good governance or winning election. Another said, I really don't know why you guys won't stop talking about OBG's endorsement of Peter Obi. That man must be giving you a sleepless night. After all, you all went to him for endorsement, but he made his choice. So, the, so let the old Baba rest a beg. Another said, so because he's PDP, he should support an incompetent PDP candidate. Another person said, your argument is that a candidate from the eastern part is difficult to sell to the north. Another person said, he made a big mistake because he did not endorse Atiku or Tinumbu. I think enough is enough. Another person said, Lamido, may I remind you that the people are superior to a political party. Your party is only a subset of the people. Another said, yes, it is OBJ's big blunder. If somebody like me could know that it is impossible for OB to win, and I suppose OB himself knows that, then the old OBJ does not know it, then it speaks much about him. Is Nigeria even ready for a presidency of an Igbo extraction? What is the national spread of Obi? Where is the structure of Labour Party? If you go the childish way of reasoning that it is the youth that are the structures, could you possibly argue that all the youth are for Obi or that the major political parties have no youth? And since Peter Obi himself knows this impossibility. Another commenter said, I don't know why Nigerians think backward, including me. Salamido, the 2023 politics is not about party. But an individual, Peter may not be perfect, but is the best candidate we have now. Another said, Lamido, your revolution against good luck, Jonathan, in 2014, pushed into political wilderness. You did see your decision that time as a mistake. 
Who are you now to judge another man's decision as a mistake? Take your own decision and go with it, just as you did in 2014. It is very interesting. A simple personal letter by OBJ since 1st January has continued to cause unrest among the political elites. Incidentally, OBJ has moved on. Um, another said, that's his opinion. Everyone doesn't have to agree with you, but I recognize you for giving it to your boss. Another person said, all this nonsense you guys are talking about, had it been he endorsed Tinumbu, you'll be clapping for him. May God help us all. Okay, so those are just a few of the comments. And of course, be rest assured that there are still a thousand and one comments that followed this post. And since 1st of January, truly, that Olusha uh, Sonjo, the ex-president of Nigeria, released that open letter to the youth, it's been one tussle from here to the other place where people have been criticizing, talking about it, analyzing, and people giving their various opinion. I think that's the beauty of democracy. The right to air your opinion as constructively as possible. And also, as we come down to the February 25th, 2023 election, we hope that the best man gets the job. I mean, Nigeria smile again. What's your opinion on this? Kindly share your opinion in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe. To our existing subscribers, thank you so much. And our new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. We appreciate your being here. Please stay. See you in the next video. God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.